All right, Chris, thanks. Only at 5 o'clock, we're learning more about the food coma that comes with Thanksgiving. Fox Carolina's Brian Bachman breaks it down in today's Moment of Science. Thanksgiving is a time for family, friends, and eating just about everything you can get your hands on. We usually blame turkey for the inevitable food coma that follows, but let's take a look at why the bird might not be the true culprit. Let's start with amino acids, molecules that serve as the building blocks of proteins. There are about 500 known in nature, including tryptophan, which often gets the blame for your post-meal nap. It's one of 20 amino acids in the human body, and we can't produce it naturally. When you eat foods with tryptophan, it converts to vitamin B3, or niacin, which in turn helps create serotonin, the molecule that reduces pain and helps you sleep better. From there, you get melatonin, which many people take artificially for sleep, but it doesn't compare to the real thing. It isn't enough to simply get tryptophan into your system, though. The real reason for your post-dinner fatigue lies with carbs. These create insulin, which flushes out almost every other amino acid in your body, except for tryptophan. This gives a more direct path to your brain, leaving you primed to conk out. Turkey does contain tryptophan, but chicken and beef have about the same amount, and sesame, sunflower, and pumpkin seeds have even more. Cheddar cheese, 50% more. Parmesan, twice as much. And egg whites have about four times as much tryptophan as turkey. Other factors play a role in making you more tired, like the day is getting shorter this time of year, and the energy your stomach needs to digest all that dinner. The bottom line is tryptophan and carb-laden foods are more likely to put you to sleep than turkey alone. In any event, don't overthink it and enjoy your Thanksgiving meal with your family and your friends. With this Moment of Science, I'm Brian Bachman.